Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I just want to introduce you to Revit Structure 2026. Now, this lesson is for those who are just getting started in Revit. So go ahead and double click the icon, the Revit icon on your computer, and this is what you'll be presented with. Now, what we have here are simply recent projects. So to start a new project, you need to start with a template. So you go on the far left here under the models, you see that we have new. So simply click on new. And now you can start your project with a template. These are default templates. You can click the arrow here and pick any template from here. You can also load in more templates here by just going to browse and make sure that you go to your installation path. I'll go to my templates and now go to English. And now pick the template that I want to use. In this case, I just want to pick a structural analysis template and just click on open. And now you see that to appear there and simply click on OK. So we are starting a project with a template. Now from here, we have so many tabs here. We have architecture, structure, as you can see, we have the steel tab. And all these that you are seeing here, including the modify, where you can manipulate your objects, move, copy, and much, much more. All right. Now we just want to make it simple, we'll go to structure, all right? Now from here, you see that this is the window that we have. Everything that we draw should be within the elevation markers here so that we can capture the elevations automatically, all right? So now what we are seeing here is the properties palette here. Whatever is open here, or whatever you select here, the properties will be displayed here. What we are seeing here is the project browser. The project browser is more or less like a table of contents of whatever you create here. Right. Now, let me get started with creating our levels. So the levels have to be created within your elevations. Right. So make sure that you open one of the levels here. I'll open south elevation. And by default, you are going to see two levels. Right. So when you open any view here, it will also start appearing here. Right now to create a level here, it's very, very simple. You just need to go to structure. Then at the end here under data, you can click on the, on the level, just click on it. Then you can just move your cursor here. And before you click it, make sure that create plan view is checked so that whatever you create will also appear here under the plans, All right? So it's already selected there and I can just move there and I can watch the dimension and I can click the first point, drag, and click the second point, and click on modify, and you see that the level is right there, and level 3 has been added right there. Now we can also modify the spacing here. I can just select on that, and you see that I have that number. I can select on it. Maybe I want 3,000. I can type 3,000. These are millimeters. For 3 meters, click outside, and it moves like that. And I can continue adding more and more levels. Now, let me go to level one so that we can add the grids. The grids can only be added in plan view. So I'll just go to level one right here. And you see that we are in plan view and disappearing here. Right. Now, to add the grids, you can just go to structure there. And you see that we now have the grids. Click on it. So now you just need to watch out for the options here. We just want to use a line because it's a straight grid. And now just click the first point. And now drag the second point, zoom in here, click on modify to escape or escape on your keyboard. You see that that is our first grid. We can go to structure here, click on grid, and now add a second grid. By just moving the cursor there, we can drag maybe at four meters, click the first point and the second point, and click on modify to escape. For the vertical grid, still the same. I can click on it. Maybe if I don't want to go there, I can just type CS on my keyboard after selecting to create similar and now I can just click the first point and the second point click modify and now make sure that you change this one now to a all right and click outside click outside then select on it then cs to create a similar and now you can move your cursor there maybe at five meters you can click the first point and drag down and the second point escape from there and you see that you have those grids I can select on the grid and drag it like that so that we have the grids that we need. All right, now, how do we add the columns here? To add the columns, we need to go to level one, which is right here. Then you can go to structure and you can pick on the column. 
All right, now from here, you can pick a steel column or the concrete column. It doesn't matter. In this particular case, I'll just pick a concrete column and I'll use the default, you know, settings here. Now on top here, you can pick the options from here. You see that it's depth. What does this mean? We are at level one. Do we want to use the depth? No, we want to use the height because we want the column to start from level one to level two. So I'll change this one to height. Then height up to level two because we already have level two there. So these are the settings that we want. Now make sure that vertical is selected because the vertical column. Now we are using a default 300 by 450. If you want to edit anything here like the columns, just click on edit there. And now you can change the B and the H from here. But I'm not going to change it to make it simple. I'll just click on OK. And now I can have my column right here. I can have another column right here. And just keep on placing the columns right there and click on escape. All right. My columns are here. Now let's see this in 3D view. To do that, just click the little house on top there by just clicking there. And zoom in using the mouse. You see that you have the four columns right here. Now below here, this is where you can change your visual styles. If I just click there, I can change it to shaded. And you see that my columns are right there in shaded view. All right. Now, how do we add the beams? We want to add the beams at level two. So open level two right there. Okay. Now just go to structure and click on the beam. All right. Then under the properties, you need to pick the beam size from here. You can even, you know, modify it. I'm just going to pick this beam 300 by 600. You can click on edit type and change the sizes. For your beam but i'll use the defaults click ok now you just need also to watch out but for the beams when you're on that particular level it means that that's where you are placing the beam but just counter check to make sure that you are picking line because it's a straight beam then you can just pick the first point the second point there the beam is right there then the first point the second point and you can continue adding the beams just like that in that simple manner all right, once I'm done with the beams, I can escape on my keyboard or click on modify. Then you can go to the 3D view by clicking here, or you can just click the 3D view right there and you see that you have the beams right there. All right, now let's also see how we can add our floor there at level one. To do that, you still need to go to, this is actually level two, just go to level two right there. And now you just need to go to structure, then go to floor then we are going to use the structure floor and now just click there and now you can pick the floor that you want to use i just want to make it simple and use the defaults i'll just use in situ concrete 2025 225 millimeters select on it now you can as well go there and click under structure there and change its size from here but this is a beginner's lesson i don't want to go in details I just want to show you how you can quickly add using the default CA so that you are not overwhelmed. Now for the floor, once you pick that floor option, you'll be in the sketch mode as you can see from here. So you just need to come here and make sure that under the draw, you just pick either a line or a rectangle so that you sketch the boundaries where you want the floor to be. And make sure that you are on boundary line. I'll use a rectangle to make it simple and I'll just pick that point and this point here so this is a sketch mode this is where the flow will be all right and now simply click on green check mark to click on finish click outside and go to your 3d view and you can see that we have our flow on top so we have the columns we have the beams we have the flow how about the foundation for the foundation again we just need to go to that particular level where we want you know the foundation to be so i'll go to level one so simply go to structure and we just want to have maybe an isolated foundation so click on it and now go to properties and now we are going to use the default 1 8 by 1 2 by 450 i'll just select on it again you can go to edit properties here and change the size but i'll just click on ok now from here you can place your foundation now if you want to rotate you can just use spacebar to rotate your foundation if you want so I'll just have my foundation there. Just click there. 
and also that foundation there. I also have another foundation there and simply click foundation right there. I'll click on modify to escape, go to my 3D view and you see that you have those foundations. So in this way, you can get started in Revit by just following these simple steps and we are able to have the foundation, the columns, the beams, and the floor. So if you are getting started in, Rev in Revit, this is a good starting point. So if you want more tutorials for beginners, please comment there. See you in some upcoming lessons.